bring William would love to fight him. Mm -hmm. William, I would love to make William Cepeda versus Shakur Steve. I, I literally would. So Shakur, please come back out of <laughs> retirement. Okay, let's make that fight happen. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Shakur Stevenson, he went from being one of the most avoided fighters to now having some pretty good options. It looks like his last fight against Edwin De Los Santos was a blessing in disguise because now people have the confidence to at least get in the ring with him, at least some fighters. Shakur, he set a trap, and some fighters took the bait. Now, Oscar De La Hoya, he's been calling out Shakur Stevenson's name for quite some time to fight his fighter, William Zapata. And honestly, I don't even think William Zapata was that much in a hurry to fight Shakur Stevenson. I really think it's the pressure from DeZone and Oscar De La Hoya. But they are willing to make that fight. If you guys have noticed, Oscar De La Hoya and Eddie Hearn, them over there at DeZone, they've been desperately trying to make the biggest fights. The type of fights that they weren't willing to make years ago. And the reason is because they've lost so much money over fighters like Canelo Alvarez. They kept overpaying him to fight tomato cans, and that backfired. Now, they're realizing the only way they're going to stay afloat and start making some money is if they make the most relevant fights available, even if that's working with other networks. So after William Zapata got his recent win over Max Hughes, Oscar De La Hoya sent out another tweet calling out Shakur. And Shakur said, let's make it happen. He said, contact my promoter, Bob. Bob Arum, he reacted and he said he was all for it. He wants to make that fight next. So it sounds like there's a very good chance we may get Shakur Stevenson versus William Zapata. And for people who hated Shakur Stevenson's last performance, oh, you're going to love him in this fight because he's fighting against a flat-footed Mexican that doesn't have defense. So all that action you guys were craving for, you're definitely going to get it in this fight. At the expense of William Zapata's face being a punching bag. See, whenever you don't like someone's performance, all you got to say as a fan is, put him in there with a flat for the Mexican. I mean, you're going to get all the excitement you've been asking for. Ask Floyd Mayweather. Ask Javante Tank Davis. When you want the most excitement, you got to put them in the ring with the guys that make the most mistakes, that fumble the ball the most. So this will be a great matchup for the boxing fans and definitely for Shakur Stevenson. But there's another fight out there that's on the table as well. Unlike Zapata, Raymond is not a flat-footed Mexican. He has foot movement, he knows how to box, but he's not that much of an inside fighter. He's a good boxer. I wouldn't say he's a, a slick boxer, he's not a boxer with special effects, but he is a good boxer. And he would be an excellent test for Shakur Stevenson because I don't think this is just an easy fight. So while Shakur Stevenson and Oscar De La Hoya were going back and forth talking about the William Zapata fight, Robert Garcia chimed in, and he said, we have somebody already with top rank ready, champ. Just give us two weeks. He asked for two weeks because they have a fight scheduled on the 29th of this month. So even though Shakur Stevenson, he desperately wanted the uh, Lomachenko fight, these are still really two great options for the meantime. So whoever he chooses, we should see some serious fireworks in July because that is Shakur Stevenson's return date. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, 
But iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues. So make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to lodekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. 